Allah Azza wa Jal starts with men take care of women and you were expecting that Allah will say women therefore do this but instead of saying women he said fasalihat then as a result therefore good women he doesn't even say women he says good women as if Allah expects the first thing for women to be is good not even women anymore you must be good and what does good mean in Arabic the word salih comes from sulh sulh means the opposite of fighting the opposite of corruption actually when there's a conflict then you want to make peace between two sides you do sulh meaning such wives are the source of ending all conflicts in the family they are a source of peace and reconciliation they are the reason tempers go down they are the reason voices are lowered they are the source of calm they are the voice of reason. There is a source of reform. If there is a conflict or some kind of tension, the first place that the husband looks to, when he turns to her, things are going to settle down, is going to be the wife. For some of you are like, seriously? Because you're telling me that the place where all the fighting starts from is the place where it's supposed to end? Because I don't have any other raised voices in my house except hers. And nobody else is angry in my house except her. The men don't take care of their end, and women don't take care of their end. And they become a source of great tension and conflict. Allah starts by saying that they are a source of reform. They are settled, they are calm, they're actually peace themselves, goodness themselves. They are the removal of all sorts of tension. That's the first quality. Then he says, qanitatun, eager to obey. And some have interpreted this as eager to obey Allah. And that is true. They are eager to obey Allah. They translate this as subservient, like al qunutu lillah. That qunut belongs to lillah. And Allah says, Qumu lillahi qanitin, meaning have qunut, meaning have this kind of eagerness to obey only for the sake of Allah. What's that doing here? Because you know, if one side was men should do this for women, you expect the rest of it to be women should do this for men. So why in the middle of that is Allah saying, yeah, they should do this for men, but this part is for Allah. Well, the reason that's there is because women should remember that when they are being a source of calm, and when they are providing peace and sakina in the household, they need to realize the only one who can keep a household calm is them. And the only one who can truly set it on fire is them. Like in your home, you have an air conditioner control that controls the temperature. Women control the emotional temperature of a household. They control it. And they better keep it cool because this is an act of them obeying Allah Himself. This is out of their eagerness to obey Allah. They need to become a source of calm. And they both need to do that because men are taking care of them and they're being calm in return. You know, for some people what happens in emotionally abusive relationships, one person's saying, calm down, calm down, it's okay, it's okay, don't be angry, don't be angry. And the more you say that, the other person's like, no, don't talk to me, leave me alone, etc, etc. So one person has to be upset. One of them, it's either the guy who's upset and she's trying to calm him down, or she's upset and he's trying to calm her down. And they see that as a source of kind of control or power. Like, yeah, I got him now. If I calm down now, I don't get that many points. Let me get some more juice out of this. So I'm going to keep this anger thing going. Just see how far I can take it. Putting someone in a subservient position, this is against what Allah Azza wa wants. So Allah Azza wa says, Qanitatun. Then He adds something, another responsibility for women. He says, Hafidatun lil ghaib. They guard the invisible. What does that mean? It means that when the husband's out at work, they're not doing anything the husband wouldn't have wanted them to do. They're not talking to anybody who the husband wouldn't have wanted them to talk to. They don't have any friends that the husband didn't approve of. They're not having any conversations that are behind his back. Conversations that are private between husband and wife are not being shared with her mother or her sister or whoever else because they're supposed to guard that. There's a privacy between a husband and a wife. And now if there's an abuse situation and he's beating you or he's cussing you or he's doing some crazy things to you, then you need to get somebody who can actually help, not just somebody to talk to, but somebody who can come in and intervene. That's talked about in the surah later on. But when it becomes a habit, I just need to talk to somebody and you're just railing on the husband or you're sharing things that he asked you to keep private or you have connections or friends or associates or company or you're going to places where he would never have wanted you to go to. Had he seen you there, he would have been really upset or really hurt and you're still doing that anyway and in your head, well, he didn't find out so it's okay. Allah says, حَافِظَاتٌ <laughs> لِلْغَيْبِ They have to guard what is invisible. Part of the meaning is what is invisible to him. بِمَا حَفِظَ Allah Because of what Allah ordained should be guarded. حَافِظَاتٌ لِلْغَيْبِ بِمَا حَفِظَ Allah. They have to guard what is in the unseen because of what Allah has decided to guard. So they're not supposed to be keeping secrets from their husband. They're not supposed to be having passwords on their phone and the husband says, can I see your phone? No. Why? 
No, hold on a second, let me erase everything. Okay, now you can see it. Why? The private life of a wife is actually completely shared. You are their libas, they are your libas. There are no secrets between husband and wife. They're supposed to be completely open with each other. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa would share secrets with his wives. With asarra nabiyu ila ba'di azwajihi haditha. When he shared a secret with his spouse. In his most private and most difficult moments, he turned to her. If you can't be each other's clothes, you know when somebody's wearing clothes, there's nothing between the clothes and your body, is there? You have no secrets between yourself and them. That's the description of a spouse, a husband and a wife. So when you're not able to guard that, and what is meant to be just for the husband, and what is meant to be just for the wife is going somewhere else, then that's a violation of what women are supposed to do. فَالصَّالِحَاتُ قَانِتَاتٌ حَافِظَاتٌ لِلْغَيْبِ بِمَا حَافِظَ اللَّهِ